Are you texting someone who leaves you more confused than connected? They could be a partner, friend, or potential love interest, and their texts leave you second guessing and overwhelmed. The truth is, manipulators always find a way to stay in control, even through texts. And they can be so subtle that it's easy to mistake their behavior for love. It can be tough to admit that someone you care about might be manipulating you. But spotting the usual signs of this behavior is the first step to breaking free and making things better. In this video, we'll explore eight weird texting habits of manipulators. Too fast, too soon. Love bombing through texts is getting flooded with messages that make you feel super special and attached. For instance, you only started talking to them a week ago. You both have similar interests and inside jokes and they start sending you texts like, I can't live without you. Nobody gets me like you. Sounds suspicious, doesn't it? It's easy to mistake this for love because it does give you butterflies, but it might actually be a way for a manipulator to gain control. Two-faced texts. Sometimes you get a text from them and you're just confused about what message they're actually trying to get across. They send these messages to seek attention, but go about it with a passive aggressive tone. For instance, if you've been busy all day and reply late, they might say something like, seems like you have more important things going on. Maybe I should back off without giving you a chance to explain. Only texting when they need something. They rarely ask about you. Everything is about them. It's never a, tell me how your day went or you can talk to me about it. They only text you when they need your help or want something from you. One-sided conversations are never a good sign. Can you relate to some of these texting habits so far? Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Manipulative breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbing is when a person sends you romantic texts and shows you attention in little bits without any intention of commitment. They could send you messages like, you're such a vibe, we should hang out and go silent for days without making any plans. When they notice you're pulling away, they flood you with messages to reel you back in. They do this to keep your hopes up and keep you interested even when they have no plans of committing to you. This is a clear red flag, it's not love. The word salad texts. A word salad is a bunch of incoherent words thrown together randomly, making it hard or impossible to understand. They send you texts that don't have a clear meaning so they can twist the conversation to their favor when you try to bring it up. For instance, if they leave you hanging for days and you text them to find out what's going on, they could reply with something like, Life has been a whirlwind lately. You know how it is, right? Now, this statement doesn't express any reason or apology for ghosting, but they can eventually make it seem like they try to explain themselves. That's a classic manipulative texting tactic. Threats. If you don't reply to a manipulative person quickly or do what they ask, they might start threatening you. They could send texts like, if you don't do what I say, I'll stop talking to you or I always block people who reply to my messages late, but I won't do that to you. Healthy relationships are built on trust and respect, not threats. They will not read the entire message. When you send them a message, they often don't bother to read the whole thing. They pick which parts they reply to, usually avoiding the difficult or confrontational messages. This suggests they may not care enough to respond to those particular topics. If it happens sometimes, it could be a coincidence, but if it happens multiple times, it's a manipulative habit. Avoiding text during confrontations. In confrontational situations, they tend to opt for face-to-face -face communication rather than text messaging. Texting during confrontation makes it more challenging for them to gaslight you, as their actions and statements are recorded in written form. This preference allows them to evade accountability. When texts from someone you care about feel manipulative, it's important to notice the signs, set firm boundaries, Respond with care and focus on your emotional well-being by seeking help when needed. Are you talking to someone with these texting habits? Clearly communicate your concerns and don't take their guilt trip baits. By spotting the usual patterns in manipulative texts and applying the strategies we discussed earlier, you can protect your emotional health and build better relationships. Have you encountered any of these texting habits? How did you respond? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Want to learn more about manipulative behavior? This video could be helpful.